Welcome. Today I'll be making the classic cocktail, the Negroni. Uh, the Negroni is uh, one of the most famous Italian cocktails. It's simple, it's elegant, it's refreshing, and it's caught the, uh, the world by storm. Uh, about five, ten years ago, it was uh, one of the best examples of the modern cocktail renaissance. Uh, so this cocktail was invented in 1919 in Florence, Italy. Uh, the story goes that a bartender is making a friend a drink. Uh, he wanted something like an Americano, but wanted it stronger and boozier. Uh, so an Americano is Campari, which is a bitter orange Italian uh, liqueur, sweet vermouth, and soda water. However, the, uh, the bartender decided to make the drink, the Negroni, a little bit boozier and a little bit stronger using gin instead. Uh, so this drink is equal parts. We're gonna go one ounce across the board. One ounce bitter, one ounce sweet, and one ounce boozy. Uh, this combination, you can kind of uh, Mr. Potato Head and insert uh, different ingredients, different Amaros, different vermouths, and different uh, base spirits, and kind of mix and match and make your own personal favorite Negroni. Uh, this one's gonna be the classic though, so we're using Campari. Uh, Campari is a classic Italian liqueur, like I said, bitter orange. Uh, it was originally made so that uh, race car drivers in the south of France could drink something that was nice and refreshing, but not too boozy and distracting. Uh, so this is, was their example of safe drinking and driving. I recommend none of that. Next, sweet vermouth. Using Dolan sweet vermouth. It's a classic example and beautifully delicious French vermouth. And just one ounce of uh, the first two ingredients and finishing up with one ounce of gin. This is uh, Bombay, uh, one of their rarer bottles. This is uh, similar to Bombay Sapphire with the addition of bergamot, which is a wonderful northern uh, Italian citrus and a natto seed. Uh, it makes an absolutely wonderful Negroni, in my opinion. If you don't have it, please use your favorite gin. I'm just building this drink straight in the glass. It's over a large cube, no need for special equipment, no need to uh, shake or stir. It's going to give it a quick spoonful here to uh, mix it up, chill and dilute it, and uh, kind of incorporate it, finishing it off with an express orange peel. Just getting the oils on top, rubbing the, uh, the rim so you get the oils on every sip, dropping it in. Cheers!